of April. It's Friday. And just so you know, this is not an April Fool's joke. Just wash my hair. It needs blow drying. Um, that's not the joke. This is not an April Fool's joke, but I feel like it is for myself. Do you remember a while back I said Warren, my husband, um, ordered me a mystery box, makeup mystery box off Amazon. Yeah, I'm sure some of you do. And I was going to do an unboxing, put the makeup on and show you all these items that I was getting for over £90. There was supposed to have been, I can't remember, but loads in there. Like 30, 40, maybe more items in there. And I'm not a particular person that, oh, I wear Estee Lauder makeup or I wear this makeup or I wear that makeup. The majority of my makeup I have had for, for years. And this bag turned up. And I was like, oh, what's that? I haven't ordered anything this week. Um, what's that? Opened it and there was makeup inside it. Three things. So I was like, who sent me that? That's weird, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, that can't be that. So I said to Warren to check on his phone to see if it had been delivered. And no, it was still out for delivery. So I was like, huh. So I left it um, on the side. Uh, it said it was coming from China, but it came from somewhere over here in the UK. Um, so I left it thinking something else is going to turn up because firstly we ordered a mystery box and this bag turned up with just three items in so we left it for a month nothing else turned up nobody had sent me anything that I know of anyway and I decided to open it all you could when we went back on Amazon there is nowhere to complain on that particular order, like on more, on your normal orders, you can complain and whatever. The only option it gave you is to order it again. Well, believe me, Amazon, I would not be ordering it again. And I would tell everyone in the world, if I could, how much you've ripped us off. Because I'll show you what I got for my 90 odd pounds, right? Bear in mind, all this makeup that's come is called She Glam. And when you Google She Glam, it's Sheen Makeup. Now, we all know Sheen is a value, a great value site for getting clothes, makeup and bits. Really nice things, but really good prices. You know, if you're on a budget in that, Sheen's fabulous. I haven't actually ordered anything off Sheen yet. I filled my basket up before, but didn't go through with the with the payment. I thought, no, nah, I won't order just yet. So Sheen is great. I have nothing against Sheen. My video is not slating Sheen, but my video is telling you, Amazon, you pile of cack, because this is what we got. And my husband is not one to complain. He said, look, just have it, put it down as a bad experience. We won't order from them again, where I'm like, bit, 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 saying, no, get on to them. Blah, 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 blah. You know, like a bulldog. But he's like, no, leave it. Just have it. We won't do it. I won't order one again. Blah, blah. So for my £97 or whatever it was, 90 something, we had this palette. Fantastic palette. It's really nice. And the colours in it, look. I've actually put some eyeshadow on from it today. And it's a lovely palette. Really nice, glittery colours that I wear. I'm really chuffed with that, to be fair. I'm chuffed with it as in its product. I got this box, which contained this extremely thin, I think it's the thinnest eyebrow pencil I've ever seen. And one end, it's got... Look, you can see how thin that is there. And the other end has just got brush on it. And I thought, oh, that's going to snap the first time I use it. So I didn't put it up very high. But I like what it's done to my eyebrows. It's, that's good. Again. 
And I got a pack of three mascaras. The mascara is, it's all right. It's, it's not like my MAC one. It's just nothing special. Just an everyday mascara. I got three of them. And that's what I got. So, as you can imagine, I'm a bit pissed off with her. Amazon have completely boiled my piss. That's the first thing we've ordered off Amazon that we've been like angry about. But you can see my point that I've had this for over £90. I think what I could have done with £90, I could have done a nice shopping all with that. But we ordered it thinking, oh, I could do a video with that, you know? And then I've got the makeup to use afterwards. So I'm not bothering to do a video on it because who wants to see three little things from Sheen, you know? So I'm going to dry my hair, do my hair, taking my mother for some blood tests today. Then we are... Going to Lidl's, because i got a £10 voucher to use. Got to save me money now, I've been ripped off with this makeup. And then I'm taking Mum to Pop and see Peggy for five. And I've got Jackson off six, so he's going to have to tag along. But he says he's feeling better now, so I said, oh, you can go to school now. But yeah, um, just thought I'd show you guys, that's what you get. So don't order a makeup mystery box off Amazon because you'll be highly disappointed like I was. Somebody might have had a really good one and had loads of stuff and that, but when they say you're going to get X amount of items and you don't, that's obviously false advertising. And they've set it so that you, you can't request a refund because when you ordered it, it said no refunds, so we took the chance, you know, take chance in life. Just happens that this chance was a bit crap. So you can't get a refund, but you can't complain. There's no option for you to chat with anyone or anything. You can't basically moan, but you can leave a review. So I will be leaving a review. And when we looked at the reviews, the first review was saying, total rip off. Maybe we should have looked at the reviews first. But yeah, so I'm happy with the makeup. It's great. It's fine. Sheen makeup seems really nice. And I might even order some Sheen makeup. But I'll order it direct through Sheen and not through Amazon. Um, but yeah, that's a complete rip-off. And it did make me quite angry when it came. And Warren was just like, oh, don't worry about it. And I'm like, yeah, but they've ripped us off. And he's like, don't worry, it's fine. He's so laid back, he's all but horizontal. Where I'm so frigging upright. But yeah, I will I will say, when I first looked at the eye pencil, I was like, oh, that's crap. But I think it's done quite a good job. I think I've made my eyebrows a bit bigger than they usually are. But, right, I need to go and get something to eat. I haven't had anything to eat yet. I don't even know what time it is. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 10.24 a.m. Oh, got to be my mother's for 11. So, yeah, that's my makeup done. Just for today. And you will have seen, there was no video on yesterday. I just got, I was so busy and I videoed stuff and then oh, I couldn't be bothered to put it up. So, didn't get one yesterday. But yeah, right, let's go and see what there is to eat. And then I'm off out with my mother and Jackson. And I think for tea tonight, I'm going to make the, um, I think they call it like TikTok pasta, but I'm just going to do my own version. You know, cherry tomatoes in a dish with feta cheese, olive oil, chuck some pasta in, mix it all up. I'll put my no stud back in. And, uh, That'll do. I think that's what we're having, unless I get to the shop and see something completely different, I fancy. 
Right, catch you in the next clip for what I'm going to eat for my breakfast. So, a breakfast. I decided to have this. It's a, a proper popcorn bar. It's a chocolate one. I don't know chocolate's breakfast like, but you know, I can eat chocolate any time of the day, me. It says 115 calories and it literally looks like this. Oh, that bit's going to fall off. Looks like that and that. Yeah, that's good for 115 calories. Not had them before. They were down my local Nisa shop. I think they were three for a pound. Hmm. Very much like the bumpy bar I had in um, Home Bargains. So, I'm sitting outside the doctor's and Jackson's perked up. He wasn't sick. I think he was telling porcupine, to be honest. So he's actually just gone into school because his school is like over the road from the doctor's. So he's just gone into school. I rang them and they said, yeah, that's fine. Kids, I tell you, not one playing up, it's the other. Um. So yeah, I'm just waiting for my mother to come out of the doctor's. She's gone in for blood tests for something, diabetes or something, I think. And then we're nipping to Lidl's. So that popcorn bar I had was really nice. Get them again. It was good for 115, was it? Yeah. I'm absolutely freezing. My mother's got a bit lynch uh, thing there. Hmm. Right. Catch you in a bit. Right. Now outside Lidl's. Just been in. I'll show you what I got when I get home. Didn't get anything that exciting. It's lunchtime, so I picked up a chicken and stuffing sandwich for 339 calories. Gotta get a pretzel every time I come. 261. There was two left. I couldn't reach them. I only took one, but um, a lovely man. I was like, oh, you wouldn't just get that for me, would you? And he was like, yes, sir. So I said, well, I also picked up these protein balls. Might have them later on in the afternoon. 173 calories. If I don't have them, then obviously I can knock them off. Picked up feta cheese and I also picked up corned beef. So tonight's meal is either going to be feta cheese with pasta or I'm going to do some sort of corned beef, potato, onion, hashy type thing. See what was a boy wants. There's Floss being for a blood test. Mum. Hi. Couldn't get blood out of you, could they? No. I, I, I don't like giving things away. No. And she's got a chicken and sweet corn sandwich. She's about to eat. So we're going to go and see Peggy. And then it'll be time to go back up to school. And Jackson miraculously recovered. So he's in school. Right. Catch you in the next clip. What a day. Anyway, I'm home. I ended up going to Aldi's as well as Lidl's. My mother's back home. I'll show you what I got. So everything I'm going to show you now is what I picked up in Lidl's. Um, got some glass. I need my glasses. I tell you what, I don't know where I put my proper glasses. So these are my own bargain ones. A bit, you know, a bit dodgy. The old sparkles on the edges, you know. But they'll do. They'll do. Anyway, the reason I put mine is because I needed them. Right, I got this um, infused garlic olive oil. Now, you could quite easily do this yourself because you can see there's like loads of garlic in the bottom there. So it's just olive oil and they've got garlic in there. It is 82 calories, 100 mil, but I'm making for tea tonight, the choice of tea. I actually picked up mints in Aldi so the choice of tea tonight was TikTok pasta, you know, the feta cheese, tomatoes and all that, garlic, well, yeah, olive oil, or nachos with mints and cheese and all that, and avocado and TikTok pasta was the choice. So I'm going to use this tonight. So yeah, 82 calories for 10 mil. Got that. I got just some small oranges 
and they are 29 calories for an 80 gram serving anything i can't see calories on i will stick on screen i got some tomato puree 98 calories for 100 grams i picked up two balls of mozzarella 63 calories for 25 gram serving so i got two of those Picked up two tins of the um, Newgate corned beef. Not had Little's corned beef before. I'm not sure what it's like. Whether it's very fatty or not. I don't know. 131 calories for 56 grams. I've got two of them. Picked up two of their beef raviolis. Now, we like Heinz ravioli. I don't know whether this beef ravioli, you're going to be searching for the beef in it. Um, but we'll give it a go. 166 for half the can. Kids like that on toast. I also picked up two of their baked beans. Now, I've not had Lidl's baked beans before. I'm not a stickler for having Heinz. I like Aldi baked beans. I've just never tried Newgate. If any of you have tried them and think they're all right, let me know. If you think they're a pile of cack, let me know that and all. 197 calories for half a can. I always think baked beans are a waste of calories do you know what I mean they're really high in calorie for, for what you get that's why I'm coming in the room like an elephant <coughs> oh, you just clear your throat love oh. eggs not the dairy kind 100 grams is 569 and there's 200 grams in there how lethal is that so that's 1,120, 30 odd, the whole packet. Hide them. Picked up two packs of strawberries. I can smell them through the packaging. Oh, shall sure, I smell lovely? Bloody mouldy one in there, isn't there? Look at that. Didn't pick them very well, did I? I'll have to get that one out. Anyway, I picked two of them. Got two packets of these sweet chili chicken breast slices just to do some wraps. 123 calories for half the pack. I also picked up two, I'm buying everything in twos. Picked up two of these. These are to do the um, pasta tonight. I don't know whether I'll use one or two, but I picked up two. So cherry tomatoes, you're looking at 100 grams, 22 calories. I picked up four feta cheeses because I thought they were a good buy. I think they were £1.09 for four. Not for four, they were £1.09 each, that's why I bought four. Um, they're 271 calories for 100 grams. And there's 200 grams in there and I'll use two probably in my meal tonight i also picked up this this is absolutely delicious mixed with icing sugar and then have it with fruit and it's 60 calories for 50 grams which i don't think is too bad so ricotta cheese icing sugar and then have it with like fresh berries strawberries raspberries well nice I got some of the Milbona lemon yogurts, 76 calories for one. Got some easy peelers. Kids go through these for fun. 41 calories for 100 grams. And I bought two of these garlic baguettes, 136 calories for a quarter. They're only really like cheapy ones, but you know. They're good enough, they do the job. So, what else did I get in there? My other goodies from Lidl's. I got a twin pack of bacon because everyone seems to want bacon sandwiches at the weekend, and I'm completely blind, I can't see the numbers. 94 for two rashers. Is that right? That seems quite low. Two rashes, 94 calories. I think I might have got my mother's easy peelers. I'll have to give her a ring and see if she's got any or I've picked up two in error. Because 
she was supposed to have had some of them. Better give her a ring. But easy pe more easy peelers if they're not hers. So that's everything I picked up in Lidl. They didn't have the Coke that we usually buy. They haven't had it in for a while. I don't know if they've got a shortage or something. So I nipped to Aldi's to get the Coke. And I've got a couple of other bits. So I'll just show you what I've got in Aldi's. Just quickly rang me mother and there are easy peelers. Kids will go down with them in a minute. And I found a sneaky Lidl's bag hiding under my legs. I didn't know it was there. So there's a bit more from Lidl. Some eggs. I heard there was no free-range eggs going to be in the shops, but there's plenty, so I don't know what that's all about. Large eggs, anyway. 78 calories for a 68-gram egg. Got them. Got these for kids. Pan au chocolate. 189 calories for one. They're individually wrapped. So they're good for packed lunches. And because they had no Coke and... We are coke fiends. Yes, I know it's really bad for you, but there's worse things in life than being addicted to coke, the liquid form, not the powder form. So, I bought this in my desperation. Bearing in mind, it's 47p for a bottle of theirs, and we quite like theirs. I know some people don't like it, but Aldi's cheap coke, Pepsi Max dupe, we love it. And Lidl's. So, Lidl's didn't have any. I've been in three times now. They haven't got any. They're out of stock for whatever reason. One bottle of Pepsi Max. Is it got gold leaf on it or what? 175 75 for that. I'm glad I'm not addicted to Pepsi Max because I wouldn't be able to afford to drink it. I would have to give up then. But... How many bottles of the other stuff can you get for one bottle of Pepsi Max? Anyway, I bought one bottle. I don't count my Cokes, if you know. Because it's like one calorie, 250 mil. So I got that anyway. In desperation. Picked up these. For myself, although the kids will probably eat them. They are little individual bars of chocolate put my glasses on so I can see you got milk chocolate, hazelnut and almond, praline milk nougat, coffee and cream dark chocolate, almond cream chocolate mousse hmm. and they are 73 calories on average per bar thought they looked quite nice let's open them and see what size we're getting for 73 calories not bad. Do you want to try one of my chocolates, Warren? What? Do you want to try one of my chocolates? Well, are they all right? Are they all right? Of course they're all right. That's what they look like. You can be my taste tester. What do you want? Almond, milk chocolate, hazelnut, coffee and cream. Is dark chocolate? Yeah, there is a dark one. Chocolate mousse? Dark chocolate. So that's the size, look. And it comes in three segments. One, two, three. Warren's going to have a, have a taste. But yeah, they, they're not bad for 73 calories. You just want something little little as a, as a treat. And if you can manage to just have one and not one pack, then they're ideal. I think they were 2 99 But I had a £10 voucher for money off in Lidl, so I got a couple of extra bits. So I got them. They don't shut back very well, so no doubt the kids will raid them later because the seal obviously isn't up to much. Um, I've got some of this. This looks very much like the Batoli spread. The packaging looks very similar. So I've not had it before. It says it's new on there. That's probably why I've not had it before. It says it's made with Mediterranean olive oil and it's 35 calories for 10 grams. Thought I'd give that a try because we're nearly out of our spread. Just picked up some pasta just so we've got pasta in. There's nothing else in. We can have a bowl of pasta. Fusilli pasta, 133 calories for 80 grams. And... I bought a bag of mixed fruit 
because I've mentioned before. Oh, I'm going down a minute. Peggy's asked me to make 50 scones for church. And I said I would make them. My new kitchen will be in by the time she wants them. So, you know. I said, yes, I'll make them. And I picked up two butters just because, just because, because now and again I'll just randomly decide to make something for the kids. So we've always got butter in. So, unsalted, 75 calories for 10 grams. Salted, 75 calories. And occasionally if I'm feeling, uh, you know, like it, I might put a bit of butter on my toast instead of low-fat spread. That's definitely all i got from Lidl's. No sneaky bags hiding anywhere. I'll show you what I've got in Aldi. Right, on to Aldi's. Picked up this. Lemon and lime, zero sugar. It's two calories for 250ml. I personally wouldn't count that if I had a glass of that. I bought some classic smashed avocado. They had a spicy version as well, but I got the classic one. I do like avocado, but I always buy an avocado and then I throw an avocado away. And then I buy another avocado and I throw an avocado away. I never use them. I buy them thinking, right, well, I'll use that. I'll do this with it, do that with it. And I waste them. So it's already done for you, you know. This one is 278 calories, but that's for the whole pot. So I thought I would use this if I do the nachos. I also picked up another bag of new potatoes. I did buy a bag the other day, but there's not quite enough in there for what I want to do, I don't think. I'll stick on screen calories in new potatoes. Picked up some apricot yogurts. Probably the kids will eat these ones. They are 211 for a pot. It's quite a lot of that, isn't it, for an apricot yogurt? But they are thick and creamy ones. They're not low fat in any way. I've got this pasta, which I'm going to use tonight in our TikTok pasta. I bought it because it was big. That's the only reason I bought it. I just like the, the size on it. It's Fusiloni Bronze de Pasta. Yeah, I just bought it because it was big. 341 for 100 grams of that. Bought the kids some of this. They love this. I absolutely love this, but probably won't use calories on it. Saying that, though, it's only 22 calories for 150 ml. When I was in my old way of eating whatever I wanted, I would have no problem guzzling one of them down to myself. I'm a changed woman. I got um, some semi-skim milk, it's an organic one, and the reason I got the organic one is because I could reach this one, and the other one was too far back. 50 calories for 100 ml. I got a tomato and mascarpone stir-through pasta, 210 calories for half the jar. I also got some red onions and another stirring sauce which is tomato and olive and this one is 275 for half the jar. It's just something easy for, you know, if you can't be bothered to cook, you can just do a quick meal. They had these by the tills, so I just picked up 115 calories for a bag, hummus bites. Uh, I think I bought, picked up two of them. And I really fancied this yogurt. I only got one because it's 190 calories for the pot. It's a luxury yogurt and it's honey and ginger. I thought that sounded nice. Look at that. 
I finally found the cookie dough protein bars. So I picked up one of those. And that is 219 calories for the one. I got the kids some cookie and creams. They're just like Oreos. Obviously half the price. 52 calories a biscuit. They still had the flour and whites in. So I picked up two raspberry, two lemon, and two salted caramel. They are 99 pence each. So they're not the cheapest, but they are nice. And they are 95 calories a bar. So I picked up them. I got some little dinosaur sprinkles for cakes. My kids are still young and when I make cakes, you know, I still like a bit of a dinosaur. I also got some vanilla extract because I'm out of that. And it doesn't tell you the calories on that. I'll stick it on screen. A rough idea. Got some more garlic bread, but these are slices. And 311, but that is for three slices. I got two corn and the cobs. They are for Tom and Jerry. If you haven't watched me before, Tom and Jerry are my children's guinea pigs. Some fat mushrooms. Just some big mushrooms. I did get another bag, there's another bag there. And I also got this one, this is barbecue flavour. But whether I actually get to uh, have them or not is anyone's guess. Now, chapatis aren't new, are they? They've been around for forever. However, they're new to Aldi's. And I bought these thinking I would fill them with like maybe the spicy chicken I bought and maybe a bit of cheese or that. Wrap them up and put them on my grilling machine. I thought that would be nice. And they've got quite a long date, 19th of May. So I bought two packs of them. They were in the middle aisle. Whether they're going to be something that they have in all the time or not, I don't know. I picked up two salted caramel protein bars. It says on their new, they are 215 calories, so I've got two of them. Picked up this for my son, it's 219 calories, iced coffee, latte, not my thing, but he loves them. And I got this, 3%, I've never had 3% mints before, 3% fat. I know you've been able to get it, but I've never personally bought it. So it's 117 calories for 100 grams. I thought that was really good. And the last two things I bought were for the other two children. 225 calories. A shook up milkshake strawberry. Two of them. And that's my shopping. So that will last a few days, I hope. I've still got quite a bit in, but needed some top up bits so yeah that's me done we're gonna have tiktok pasta or my version of it i'm not following any recipe i'm just gonna do it on my own and just add all the ingredients on the NutriCheck app and make it into a meal offered it to my mother but she said no i'll leave it tonight thanks yeah that's about as exciting as my day gets and I'm going to go now because I think Warren's dying to cough. What? You, you dying to cough there? Mm. Mm. Kids are down the park. What time is it? Alexa, what's the time? The time is 5.40pm. Oh, it's not as late as I thought. Right, I'm going to get all this put away. And I shall catch you 
Pour some gin out. This is my pasta ready to go in. So far, it's 1,522 calories for this whole dish. There's two blocks of feta, garlic, olive oil, um, red onion, and tomato. So all the other things that are going in are only going to be pasta, and it will be divided between five. So I'm going to stick that in the oven for a good half an hour and get the pasta on the boil. This is now out of the oven and you can see that it's nice and hot. So you literally just mix this all up together and there's the oil. So I'm gonna just mix this all thoroughly with two hands. So I'm gonna put this camera down in a minute and then you mix in your cooked pasta and I'll show you what it's like once it's in the bowl. So everything in my bowl is 752 calories and I will stick a breakdown on screen, but that's the finished result. So it is now quite late. I'm gonna have a gourmet lolly and I am left with 34 calories to go. I've got easier day tomorrow. So yeah, that's me done for the day. So I will catch you tomorrow on the next one and just to let you know our dinner tonight that pasta i made was absolutely a banging bye guys